This is question number 28 on the Geometry 10 Ready Practice Test. It's one of those multiple part questions that are starting to warm the hearts of the test makers. So we'll, you know, go along with whatever they want. You know, they make the test. So there you go. So the illustration represents intersections of highways. We want to know in part A which statements sh about triangle ABC are true. Select three that apply. So I w they want to know if segment BC would help if I turn this pin on BC is a square root of 58 well how would I know that well I can create a right triangle inside of this and then just do a little bit of counting a squared plus B squared equals C squared so my A might be here, my B might be here, and my C. The A and B don't really make much difference. Generally speaking, people will assume that A is smaller than two legs, but whatever. As long as you have the two that make up the right angles, A and B, you're good to go. So A's value is 1, 2, 3. And by the way, I should mention, I just created this right triangle by creating a right angle. I didn't have some fancy way to find that. For B... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this becomes 9. This becomes 49. The final step in Pythagorean theorem is always taking that square root. So, oh, indeed. The value of BC is 58. So that first one is sort of locked in there. That one's good to go. What else? AB is equal to AC. So this distance here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So <laughs> AB is 10. Sorry, sometimes I kind of don't trust myself. So AB, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. AB is equal to 10. Now AC I can find in a similar fashion to what I found before. I just create another right triangle. Uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I actually didn't believe that would happen. Anyway, uh, 49 plus 49, this gives me 98. And I could keep going and run it into simplest radical form and see if I can get it down. But I know it's not 10 because it's not the square root of 100. So this one is not true. What else? The tangent of The measurement of angle BAC is equal to 1. Angle BAC. Now, you may think, well, isn't angle BAC right here? How in the world am I going to figure out what that measure is? Fortunately for us, if I have this over here, oops. If I have this piece, I've got a, I have a 90 degree angle, right? So if I could find a slope that cuts that exactly in half, which instead of going straight up, it would go up one over one, we'd be in good shape. We'll look at the slope here. Up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. And if you wanted to do the, you know, the slope formula, that's fine. C's value, we could just mark it off. This one is zero, zero. And we could put this one at one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and seven. So you could create those if you'd like to. But it's probably easier just to see that this is exactly one. So if I'm splitting these little circle or these little rectangles in half, that means that this angle is half of ninety degrees. So angle BAC is actually forty five degrees. So there you go. It's one way to make that go a little bit faster. So now I'm going to look for the tangent 
Hopefully my calculator hasn't frozen. I don't have to reset anything. Make sure I'm in degrees. I'm in degrees. That's good to go. So tangent of 45 is equal to 1. So R is another answer that is correct. Measurement of angle ABC. So this angle plus the measurement of ACB is equal to 2 times BAC. So 2 times BAC, as we already know, is equal to 90 degrees. The trouble with this one is that it's easy to fall into the trap that thinking that you're working with the right triangle. When we found out what ABC was, I was using the fact that I could create a right triangle this way as part of my basis for making a decision. But it doesn't apply here, it's just the sum of the angles being 180. So ABC, which would be here, here, and here, and ACB are just whatever's left over. So if BAC is 45, then ABC plus ACB is equal to 180 minus 45. So those are just these, the sum of those together is 180 minus 45, which is 135. Now it doesn't matter what they are individually. It just matters that together, this sum of these two things plus this value will equal 180. 2 times 45 is 90. 135 and 90 are not the same, so this one's out. But it's really easy to get it locked in your head saying, okay, well, 2 times, 140, or two times 45 gives me uh, 90, so then I just work trying to make a triangle with that 90 degrees, and it will seem like that one is correct. So make sure you have your whole head on straight about how that all goes. And then the sign of measurement BAC over length BC is equal to the sign of ABC over AC, and AC here uh, we already found out was the square root of 98. To find this last part we're going to remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. We're going to go back to this right triangle here. To find the measurement of angle B, or the sine of measurement of angle B, I'm going to use this distance which is 7 and the hypotenuse which is the square root. Of 58. Um, the sine of 45 I'm going to actually replace this. Sorry, before I get to sine of 45 part. We can either calculate this, which is not particularly difficult to do with our calculator, or you could remember that when I have this sort of set up here This would be side, this would be side, and this would be side square root of 2. So for this angle here, the side would be 7. So this sine 45 we could rewrite as 7 divided by 7 square root, or sorry, 7 times the square root of 2. Fortunately for us, we don't actually need to do that. Instead, I can just bring up this calculator here and make it work. So I'm going to compare the ratios here. I could do cross multiply and divide, but I don't want to. Or cross products anyway to see if they're equal. I'll just do this ratio. I'll work it all the way out and then see from there. I need to make sure that this is in degree mode. Because if it's not, it's going to be a problem. So now sine 45. And I'm going to divide that by the square root of 58. That's the value I'm trying to recreate on this side. 
So I'll do the numerator first. It's very bad form to have a root in the denominator. It's bad form to have a fraction in a fraction. But for our case, sometimes it's nice to just be a little messy and divide that by the square root of 98. This and this are the same, so t is correct. So that's part A of this insanely large uh, problem. So for the next video, I'll come back and do the rest of the parts.